गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज सुधीर कुमार एंड आई एम परसुई माई एम टेक फ्रॉम एन आई जमशेदपुर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हेयर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटेरियल इन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटेरियल एज वी नो दे आर दे आर सो मेनी टॉपिक्स बट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन आई विल एक्सप्लेन हेयर हाउ टू फाइंड स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन फ्रॉम वेरियस मेथड्स लाइक As we know, there are so many methods due to which we can find the strength of uh, slope and deflection. Here, I will explain one by one, and uh, I will find a generalized standard equation due to which we can find at any point slope and deflection. This will be strength of material. In strength of material, we have to explain here. स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन ओके वी कैन फाइंड स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन फॉर ए पॉइंट फॉर एट एनी पॉइंट फ्रॉम वेरियस मेथड लाइक डबल इंटीग्रेशन मेथड मेकुलर मेथड स्टेन एनर्जी मेथड एरिया मूवमेंट मेथड एंड स्कोर पोजिशन मेथड लाइक दैट नाउ आई एम आई आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यर डबल इंटीग्रेशन मेथड so what is first let no what is a double integration method in double integration method i am going to write one standard result whatever we have to already study in btech standard this c r e i d square y By d x square is equal to m. We have already studied this standard equation. I am going to explain the terms whatever used in this standard equation. Here e is equal to Young's modulus. Young's modulus of elasticity. I is moment of inertia. of the body dy by d m m is nothing but moment at any section okay dy by dx is our slope equal to theta and y is equal to deflection okay so we have to find here slope and deflection slope is dy by dx and the deflection is nothing but y so first uh, after this after seeing this equation we if we have to find slope we will have to integrate this standard equation one time and for deflection another one time means finally we have to integrate this Result by uh, this result to two times. Do after that we can find deflection. So that's why the name of this method is known as double integration method. Okay. In double integration method, we can we can take any example, but here the beam should be like that cantilever beam for point load. can deliver beam for uniformly distributed load can deliver beam for uniform bearing load this type of slope we can in this type of load we can find slope and deflection okay but now i am to going to another example also this is can deliver beam but for simply supported beam also we can take the example here for point load or Either for deflection load, for for the distributed load, or for firing load. Okay, but now I'm going to take example, which is a beam, which is a simply supported beam, and informally firing load, or informally distributed load. So just I'm going to take this one. Here, I'm going to take example of simply supported beam. Let's suppose this one is our beam. 
which is simply supported at point A and B. Okay. And uh, on this beam, we can take any type of load. Now I am going to take an example of uniformly distributed load. The value of this load is W Newton per meter. Okay. The span of this beam is suppose L. Okay. Then the total load of this total load of this beam would be W Newton per meter means W Newton per meter into L is equal to W L Newton and this W L Newton load would be distributed or located at the center of gravity of this beam means that would be here like that okay W Newton so now let's see here if we are going to just integrate this value, this result, then we, then the moment should be here. So for finding moment, we will have to first find reactions at point A and B. So just suppose reaction at A is equal to RA and reaction at B is equal to RB. Okay. So we have to find, we have to find reaction at A and B. Just uh, after seeing this uh, this loading diagram, we can say all upward force is equal to all downward downward force means R A plus R B is equal to W M W F sorry yeah, W F should be W M okay and this would be our first result and uh, after that taking moment for finding R A or R B. You can take from anywhere, taking moment. From we can say from anywhere, but now I'm going to take moment from point A. Taking moment at point A. Means just means we are here and we have to identify all loads, all loads with perpendicular distance from this point. Means if we are considering from here, this RV into this length, moment means what? Force into perpendicular distance. So this force RB into perpendicular distance L. So here RB into L is anti-clockwise and other another way is would be clockwise. Anti-clockwise should be equal to anti-clockwise. So RB into L is WL and this length, what would be this length? L by 2, of course, this one is also L by 2. So, from we are considering from here, so this one is WL into L by 2. WL into L by 2. So, the result will come out. RB is equal to WL by 2. And from from equation 1, R is should be also W L by 2. So now our Z is W L by 2 R A and W L by 2 R 2. We have find reaction at A and B point. Okay. So I am this one. Now we have to find moment. So we can find moment. We have to find moment at any section of the beam. Just suppose I am taking this section. This one is XX section, which is X distance from, which is X distance from point B. Okay. So moment at X section means we have to identify load which would be considered which would which would be here. So MX means slope at X point means RB into X distance. Minus this is anti clockwise, uh, became a sign that's why it is positive, and how it came out, it would be negative. So, here this force, all the value of force from B point to X point would be W into X, and this force would be located at the midpoint, means center of gravity from this, uh, of this section. So, it would be here W. X and of course this would be x by 2 and this would be x by 2 distance so minus wx into 
x by 2 this distance i am concentrating at that point okay so the value of r is rb rb is wl by 2 x minus w x square by 2 is our moment at x and x x okay so we have to put this value in here so now i'm going to put W L X by 2 minus W X square by 2. Okay. So for finding uh, slope means what? We have to integrate this one one times. Then we can find dy by dx. That would be our slope. So let's start to integrate. Integrating. Okay. Integrating this one one time means the value come out divide by dx is equal to w l x square by 4 minus w x q by 6 plus c1 okay <coughs> now we have to find this value c1 means constant of integration how can we find we can find this value by applying boundary conditions means uh, if you are considering this loading diagram the, the diagram will come out will come out like that means what means something slope would be here something slope would be here and slope would be zero at the mid section of this beam means at we are talking about at x is equal to l by 2 dy by dx is equal to 0 ok so applying this putting this value in this equation divided by dx is 0 and the value is here w l into l by 2 the square by 4 minus w l by 2 whole q i6 plus c1 means w l q by 2 to the 4 4 4 4, four the 16 minus w l q by 8 get 6 that 48 plus c1 means uh, if we are considering this value 48 would be our lcm and 2 w l q minus w l q plus c1 will come out will come out so after solving this i am erasing this one <coughs> here is 0 0 means 0 W L Q by here three should be our answer. Means here two W L Q by forty eight plus C one. This is cancelled out. Means C one is equal to minus W L Q by twenty four. Okay. So put this C one value is here. I am just going to erase this one. <coughs> Our value came out dy by dx is equal to w l x square by 4 minus w x q by 6 minus w l q by 24. This is our standard equation for this slope. We can find slope at any point of this section this beam after changing the value of x means what means uh, if just we have to find the slope at point a or b we can put the value of x change the value of x and we can find just suppose we have to find the value of uh, slope at b point means put x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 slope would be e i dy by dx is equal to what this one is 0 this one is 0 minus w l q by 24 okay means we have to find dy by dx for slope so dy by dx is equal to minus w l q by 24 e i this is our standard question if we will put the value of l by l that we can find the slope at point a after checking this value, we can find we can find uh, slope at anywhere. Okay, 
So this is our final result for finding slope. Okay. Now for deflection, you will see here for deflection. <laughs> How can find deflection? Of course, we will have to integrate this result one times again. Then we can find the value of y means deflection. So just integrating this equation once time. E i y is equal to w l x q by 3 4 ja 12 minus w x 4 by 6 4 ja 24 plus c1 x plus c2 ok we have already find the value of c1 now we have to find the value of c2 c2 how can we how we can find c2 we can find by, by applying boundary condition for the slope for the deflection now see let's see here here the deflection at point a and b is zero and maximum deflection will come out at the midpoint means at distance x equal to l by 2 okay so let's if we will put here put here x is equal to 0 our value came out y is equal to 0 means deflection would be 0 okay so put x is equal to 0 here this one would be 0 this 0 this 0 this 0 means our c2 is 0 okay so finally our result came out our result came out dy by dx is w l x q by 12 minus w x 4 by 24 plus c1 x okay we have already find the value of c1 which is nothing but this value so put this value is the over there e i y equal to w l x q by 12 minus w x 4 by 24 plus plus c1 c1 value this one w l q by 24 minus w l q by 24 x okay so this is our standard equation for slope for deflection okay now <laughs> after putting the value of after changing the value of x we can find deflection at any section of the beam just suppose we have to know the value of deflection at point x equal at point b then put the value of x equal to 0 we have to find the value of uh, deflection at point a put the value of x is x equal to l and uh, after that after solve this and then you can find the value of deflection so now just i i have told already the maximum deflection will come out at a distance mid at a distance x equal to l by 2 means at mid section of this beam so now i'm going to find the maximum deflection only after this standard equation we can find the value of uh, deflection at anywhere but now i'm going to find at mid section so at mid section means put it x is equal to l by 2 in this equation so just put e i y is equal to w l here l by 2 q by 12 minus w l by 2 to the power 4 by 24 minus w l by 2 w l q by 24 into l by 2 okay <laughs> after solving this the result will come out. I am going to write directly the result of this is e i y is equal to minus 5 by 384 w l4 w l4 okay and the value of y is equal to minus 5 by 384 w l4 by e i this is the maximum deflection at distance x is equal to l by 2 <laughs> why the sign negative came out the sign of negative means the deflection is 
in downward direction of this wave due to this. So after this, uh, using this standard equation for uh, deflection, we can find deflection of slope. We can find whenever we want. Thank you.